Hiya Pete! Yay! It's here! It's the video of me using Protect Gel! Woohoo! So exciting! So exciting! So anyway, let's get on with the video, shall we? I'm just pushing back. This is my mum, by the way, in case you didn't know. This is my, my mummy's hands. So I'm just pushing back her cuticles. Well, we're gently pushing back the epinicium or proximal nail fold, if we're going to be technical, and scraping some of the cuticle off the nail plate. This cuticle push is actually really good. It's not an expensive one, but it is, yeah, it's pretty sharp, it's really good. It's got um, two different ends, one end is more square and pointy, the other end is a bit more rounded, so you can go round with the rounded bit and then if you wanted to you could use the squared off bit to scrape but yeah it's really good my mum is probably the most difficult client in the world she's such a fidget bum bless her love my mummy but she is a pain in the butt she doesn't stay still she can't she just can't stay still <laughs> So I'm just going in with a cuticle bit and I'm going one way round one side of the nails and then getting reverse and then going down the other side of the nails. That way it pushes all the dead crap out of the way instead of into the nail folds. You'll notice I'm not using a sanding band and the reason for this is it's technically illegal to use them on natural nails, this band in the UK. I know you guys see me use them on my nails because I really love my sanding band so I use them on myself, I don't care, but if I'm you, you doing someone else's nails I won't actually use the sanding band because you're technically not allowed to do so. And I probably should have pointed that out in my other videos but I didn't because I just assumed people would know but just in case you don't know, yeah sanding bands are, are, are not allowed on natural nails in the UK. Just. So, you know, you should know that way if you've done your e-filing course, you should know that. They should tell you that anyway. But, yeah. So, I'm just going in with diamond bits on the natural nail, which you are allowed to use. Sorry if I sound a bit bunged up. It's just still getting over this awful cold that I've had. My mum's nails are really ridged. I don't know if, yeah, you can see that. They're really, really ridged. But yes, anyway. I've been cleaning them off with the Formula 144, just which sanitizes and dehydrates and everything all in one. Excellent stuff. And then I'm going in with all about the base. So I'm going to apply a thin layer of this. You don't actually need a primer, which is excellent. So you just literally sanitise, clean off the dust with the Formula 144 and then let that dry, go in with all about the base. Isn't that excellent? No primer. Excellent. Love that. One less step to do. Awesome. So once I've finished applying this, I'll get my mum to put her fingers in the lamp and cure this for 30 seconds. It's only a thin layer, 30 seconds is sufficient. As far as I'm aware from what the instructions and what Jess has said, 30 seconds is, is quite adequate. So now I'm going in with the luscious vintage pink. How beautiful is this pink? It's a really nice colour, you could leave them off just this colour if you wanted to. Mum chose a very dark purple colour for her gel polish, which is really unusual. She normally goes for pinks and light colours but she wanted this dark purple and it, it looks really luscious it does look good uh, Bob was giving me chip because she wouldn't keep her fingers still you know you get those clients that are really stiff and they then uh, as I'm putting the form towards her finger she moves her finger because she thinks she's helping me I'm like mum please stay still mum please stay still and that was the narrative whilst I was doing her nails mum Stay still, mum. Please stay still, mum. Don't move. 
What a family members that you know. <laughs> I mean, I love my mum. Of course I love my mum. I love her to the moon and back. But she's a pain in the ass Clyde. <laughs> Bless her. So I'm using my lovely Synergy brush and the Formula 144 to pat the Protect Gel in place. And as you can see, it's it's easy. It's easy to work with. It's it's not stiff, but then it's not too soft that it runs everywhere or anything. You see, I, I it, it didn't fall off her nail or anything whilst I was doing the other other nail. So yeah, it's really easy to get it into place. It takes a little bit of getting used to because it's not gel and it's not acrylic. So getting used to how to work with it is a bit is is different. By the time I got to her other hand, my application was actually better and um, it didn't take me as long. This hand took me longer than, than the second hand, but I think give me a few more tries and I'll get this down. It's not difficult to get the hang off, it's just getting the hang of it. So you see, I'll, I'll pat it, sort of push it towards the cuticle area and get it nice and flush, therefore it doesn't need much filing. And then bring the rest down the rest of the nail and pat it out but sorry I'm out of shot <laughs> my mum's got levitating fingers if you look on the index finger you can see where it's got a dig in it she really can't stay still I don't know why that fingers up <laughs> levitating fingers mum put your things down mum relax <laughs> It set probably took me way too way longer than it should have done, but yeah. <laughs> I love my mama. Yeah, I'm going back over the nails that I've already done because she's she's giving them digs. <laughs> on the second hand, I'd learned my lesson, and I actually did each nail one by one. It's, flash cured each one for five seconds so that she couldn't put any dings in them and I didn't have to keep going back. <laughs> so that's also an option, flash cure for five seconds and then do the next nail. <laughs> so I've cured for 30 seconds at this point and I'm removing my forms and then I'll check to see if any nails need any more gel and well not gel any protec gel i should say which is a hybrid product in case you didn't know i'm sure you do because i'm very late to the game this is my first time using a hybrid poly gel type product and yeah ah oh, awesome fell in love with it fell in love with it it's it's really good stuff you don't have that rush of the acrylic's going to set, but you also don't have the rush of when you're doing gel where it's going to run everywhere. So it's the best of both worlds, if that makes sense. I'm just finishing off, putting the finishing touches on, making sure the nails have got enough product on them. And you'll see I lift the nail and twist the nail and check it from all angles that's really important check it from all angles and then you'll know where you need product and whether you've got enough or not and then once I've finished they'll cure in the lamp for one minute when I removed the forms just to let you know it was not sticky well it was sticky it wasn't what's the word mushy underneath so when I removed the forms it was completely set the the there was no uncured Protect gel where the, underneath the nail where the nail form was. So even though my nail forms are not see-through, it still cured all the way through, which is excellent. So all I had to do was use the Formula 144 underneath to clear off the tacky layer as well as on, on, as on top of the nail. So yeah, so this is me doing the second hand. No, it's not. I'm still I'm on a thumb what am I talking about I'm doing the thumb why am I saying I'm doing the second hand god I'm losing my marbles yeah no I'm doing the thumb I did the thumb last because obviously it's on the side and I didn't want um, it to slide 
I don't know if it would have done or not. I didn't want to risk it, but I also didn't want to risk my mum shoving her thumb into the towel and just mushing it to pieces anyway. So yeah, I did the thumb separately. As you can see, everything has been cured and I have removed the tacky layer from on top and underneath the three edge of the nails. Everywhere, tacky layer gone using the Formula 144. So I'm using my hand file and I'm just shaping the free edge and the sidewalls a bit. And this bit can be very boring, so if you would like to fast forward through, please go ahead. <laughs> This stuff files just ridiculously easy. It's it's softer than gel, and everyone knows how easy gel is to file, but this stuff is easier to file than gel. It's crazy. And it, it's the dust is, is more like the gel dust, but it's also still a bit different. It's I don't know, it, it sinks, it's like it's heavy, it's just rather than being really, really floaty like acrylic dust is, this kind of sinks a bit quicker you know well, a lot quicker actually kind of drops quicker I hope I'm making sense now takes will know what I'm on about <laughs> it just yeah I know I'm late to the game and everyone's pretty much tried hybrids but it's just something that didn't appeal to me and I wasn't interested in it I don't know and then I stumbled across Jess's channel and started watching her videos and then she, she did this announcement saying she was bringing out her own brand of products and I was like oh wow that's that's amazing and she did videos showing her using it and it really piqued my interest which was unusual because no one else had and I'd, I'd seen various other brands of a similar hybrid product but yeah it was it wasn't until I saw Jess using it that I thought oh I think I want to try that stuff and I couldn't wait for her to open up so I could buy some and she very generously sent me some to try which was really really lovely of her and I appreciate that so much you have no idea thank you Jess this bit's funny you see I'm trying to use my e-file and um, I put various different bits on and it was filing so easily even on level six it was just filing so fast I had to stop <laughs> I was like oh my gosh I've never had anything file that soft before that easily I just couldn't believe it and I was like no I can't even use an e-file on this it's just too powerful even at level six wow so out came the hand file and away I went and I never, I mean, I absolutely never file an entire set by hand. I always use my e-file to do most of the shaping and use my hand file to go in at the end to just make sure. Well, if sometimes I don't even do that. I do all of it with just the e-file apart from filing the side walls. This set I filed completely by hand. You will see me changing my grip and that's because one, I like to pull back these. My mum's got deep side walls, and I like to pull her skin back away so that I can really get in there. And two, my hands and my fingers cramp so badly that I have to keep switching grip because the pain just gets too much. So if you see me up and down with the hand, that's that's why. But I actually did this whole set by hand. Shocked. I was just shocked. I was shook. I messaged Jess and I was like, I'm shook. I'm shook. I can't believe how easily that filed. I know you said it was effortless, but oh my God, it really is effortless. Seeing is believing. Trying is believing. I'm not going to BS about any products. I will tell you if I don't like something, I'm straight up. I'm, I'm, I, I pride myself on my honesty. This stuff is the shizzle <laughs> get yourself some protec gel if you've never tried a hybrid product like me and you just you, you're not one to jump on the bandwagon with the hype trust me this is worth a try 
it really is on the days where I, my hands you know are really sore and I'm not feeling good I know that I can get out the protect gel and I can do a set and it will be no bother to file it won't it won't kill me to file which is awesome I mean I'm not going to stop using my gel and I'm not going to stop using acrylic because I love what I can do with them but protect is so good it's so good so it's just another addition to what I can do I am going to look into having you know doing a course because if I'm going to use this on paying clients I would have to be qualified in it I don't think you know because I am qualified in acrylic and I'm qualified in gel but I don't think this kind of hybrid product is covered by those two categories I think you have to get a separate cover for that so I will I will look into getting um, doing a conversion course of, of some description Jess is actually an educator so but she lives really far away so I don't know I'll work out something if, if I if I because I haven't got any real play, paying clients at the moment because I'm just not well enough to deal with them but if I do then yeah I will I will do a course for it to make sure I'm qualified I like to cover my bases I don't want to avoid my insurance because you know that's just not worth it so whilst I've been waffling away I have been buffing and removing dust and applying the first layer <laughs> of the, my of the gel polish my mum chose and I'm just going around with a brush to clean up any bits that got on her skin she does have very deep sidewalls so it's really hard to not get any on there but yeah it's this colour is really pretty actually got some gold shimmery bits in it very pretty but those those are the nails pretty cool huh obviously they don't have they're not too thick and they don't have a huge apex on them because short nails don't it's not necessary to have huge apexes on short nails so they don't look bulky they look they look nice they just look nice my mum I get my nail beds from my mum so she has naturally high nail beds too so they probably look thicker than they actually are but I know they're, they're, they're not thick I'll just let you finish watching and I'll be back at the end oh oh no I'm not going anywhere there's gloss like a boss oh, look at this stuff Look at this! Oh, I'm just picking off some flowers. My mum stuck her little finger on the towel. Of course she did. You know, you know, she's like, she's one of those. <laughs> Look at those fluff I was trying to pick it off. Anyway, gloss like a boss. You will gloss like a boss. It it does what it says. It's not runny, but it's not majorly thick. It's a nice consistency. Now I've got various other brands of top coats and this is different to all the ones that I have it's really nice to work with and you, when you see at the end where I oil my mummy's cuticles back up um, you'll see how shiny it is once it's cured it's good it's good stuff and my mum cooks and cleans and rarely wears gloves so we will see how that stands up to the test of my mother I will do a little video in a couple of weeks when my mum wants a refill and I'll show you how they how they look then but I think I think it's gonna be good I really do my mum's a, a, one of those lifters she's a she lifts really bad her natural oil bed nail beds are oily so she's a lifter so we shall see how they survive with her yes I will come back for that so I'm just buffing her ring fingers because I will be putting some pretty crystals on them and at the end of this video I will be doing these swatches of the colours that I got so do do stay for that don't 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 leave the video yet whilst just because I'm doing crystals please stay if you want obviously if you want to because I'm going to do the swatches of the colours at the end but look at these crystals the, the crystals in the little round pot those are the ones that Jess sent me aren't they pretty they're one size so I got out some other crystals so I could do different sizes on mum's nails
all the details for Jess's YouTube channel, her Facebook group, and what else? Oh, the website. It will all be in the description box for you. So please go and check her out. She's absolutely a darling. She's such a darling. She's such a sweet, genuine, lovely person. And those are few and far between. And I like to support people that are, that are real. And she keeps it real. And I love that about her. So, yeah. Go and show her some love and support. So, last bit of top coat now. And I'll use a little brush. And I get right around all those crystals to make sure they're nice and secure. It's a handy trick that. I always do that. Very, very few crystals are lost that way. If any. So if, any, if I get any on the crystals, you'll see I swipe my finger over them. Shouldn't really be touching the gel with my bare fingers, but I had taken my gloves off because mum and I had a break in between doing nails. And um, yeah, I totally forgot to put my gloves back on. Well, a new set. So in with the cuticle oil. And I'm going to take a wipe, it's just dry, I haven't put anything on it, I'm just wiping off the surface of the nails, just get the oil off, ready for photos. And here's the photos! So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this set that I did for my mum and yeah, in two weeks I'll come back with another video to let you know how mum got on wearing the Protec. So stay with me because here's the video of the swatches. Let's give you a little look at the products in a bit more detail. So what I'm going to do, get some of the Formula 144. And then like that. A bit of kitchen roll. I'm gonna swatch two colors that I've got. Shall I swatch the clear as well? Is it worth swatching a clear? Because, you know, clear's clear. I don't know. Anywho, I'll do this one first. It's vintage peak. Vintage pink. <laughs> God, I can't speak today. This is the colour that I used on my lovely mummy. Oh, that swatch stick's a bit dodgy. Looks like somebody's bitten it. <laughs> Obviously, it's not been bitten. It's just been manufactured a bit wonky. Oh, well, I'm still going to use it. So, get my lovely spatula. Squeeze some of this out. I'm going to put it inside the pop stick so that I don't have to top coat. I really enjoyed using this on my mum, I must say. It's so different. And as mentioned in that video, it files like it's nothing. It's crazy how easily this files. Couldn't believe it. I never hand file from start to finish and I hand file from start to finish. And believe it. So as you can see, it's just it's just a nice pink, it's slightly translucent. If your brush starts getting a bit sticky, just grab a bit more of the solution, which is the 144 formula, or formula 144. It's 
smooth that out. And there it is. That pretty pink? That's a pretty pink. And I'm going to open the, <coughs> excuse me, the Russet Glow, which is the colour I intend to do my nails with, but I won't be gel polishing over the top of this because I want it to be this colour. They all come with the seal on them. Let's see what this, well I know what it looks like, but in person things t sometimes look different. Oh that's nice. Watched. Going with my Formula One four four, dab a bit of the excess off, and start molding this into place. It molds easily. <coughs> It's not difficult, you do not need to have loads of pressure to get it to move, which is obviously good for my hands. And Jess said to me that this might be good for me when I'm, especially when I'm having bad days. She was right, because it does file so much easier than acrylic I think yeah if I'm having a bad day I, I could still maybe do something which is really exciting so thank you for the awesome products Jess you were right my love you weren't kidding when you said it files like it's effortless and it really does it's so it's even easier than finding gel and that's 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 saying something so this is Russet Glow. It's more of a sort of dusky pink, this one. Let me grab vintage pink and show you the two side by side. Excuse my nails, they need doing desperately. You see the difference? Vintage pink. Oh no, what have I done? <coughs> Vintage pink is much lighter. I'm going to clean up that mess I just made. What not to do with your pop sticks? <laughs> Put them together when they're not been cured. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's pop those in the lamp for a minute. Curing. Shall I do the clear? Do you think I should do the clear? Yeah, you know what, I might as well. Get my seal off if I can. Yeah, there we go. What I'm going to do is wipe off the spatula though so I don't get the colours into it. Grab a little of the Formula 144. I'm going to clean my spatula off. Don't know how you managed to think up all these names, Jess. I'm crap at things like that. 
and you had to come up with a hell of a lot of names with your glitters and your gels oh my goodness because she's bringing out gel polishes as well lady you are smashing it so proud of you boss lady she's doing her thing it's awesome love seeing success it's just I don't know seeing someone start something from the beginning it's just a really nice feeling I'm a bit soppy like that and she's a most genuine lovely person you would ever meet that just makes me root for her even more because there's some right nasties in the industry I'll tell you that much but she is not one of them Oh my gosh, I'm really faffing here, sorry. There we go. Arctic Icy Clear. Let's get that cured. Oops. Just knocked my safety glasses down. <coughs> Never mind. Need to wipe off my spatula. So those are those two. That's what they look like. And obviously you've seen the Arctic Icy Clear, which is clear. <laughs> and that's it. The, the, the 144 solution is, is blue. It's tinged blue, just so you know. It does have a blue tinge to it. Smell wise, it smells kind of like alcohol. You know, the rubbing alcohol. So it doesn't have any strong uh, scent to it or anything like that but yeah it just, just smells like rubbing alcohol but it, it does have a little blue tinge to it and this is how I clean my spatula just with the 144 solution and also I have to clean off the sticky layer on the back because these will have a sticky layer yep, they're dry dry Get Formula 144, just like that. Wipe it off. Last one. There we go. Actually, you know what I'll do? I will top coat this clear because that will give us a better, better look. So I'm going to get gloss like a boss, which is the top coat. It's no wipe. consistency of this is nice it's not thick it's not thin it's like medium it's the only way I could describe it and you see how much clearer it is once you've top coated so it's not like crystal clear because hybrids just aren't it's just the way they are but it's, it's clear enough for me to uh, encapsulate in glitter though I'd, I'd be able to encapsulate glitter and still be able to see through so that's cool so that's that so I hope you enjoyed the video and um, hope you liked what I did with my mummy's nails and that's it for that's all I've got for now because I will be doing my nails and uh, with the russet glow which is this one and I'll come back and do a video for that. So thanks for watching. Take care, peeps. Bye for now.